Hello, hello, everybody out there in Facebook land. So glad to have you here. Glad to have everybody come and join me today for our second edition of a live meetup for going fit bit by bit dot com here on this wonderful Christmas day. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Uh, I can't wait to get started and hope so many of you have uh, received a new Fitbit for today. I think that's just terrific. If a bunch of you did, I hope Santa Claus was good uh, to all of you. Santa Claus was good for me. Uh, many of you, I'm sure, are parents. Uh, I know I stayed up late last night till about 4 o'clock in the morning uh, trying to find Santa Claus. Uh, tried to stay away from him. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I fell asleep before Santa arrived. Uh, and as a result, didn't get to see Santa uh, come. But uh, I was able to get up nice and early this morning. The uh, children uh, were able to wake me up uh, early, uh, around 6 o'clock, uh, me and my wife. And uh, we were able to go down and see that Santa Claus did indeed come. So that's terrific. So hopefully many of you um, have it, are, are able to uh, log in here today on Ring Central. Uh, those of you who registered on going fit by uh, going fit bit by bit .com, and several of you are coming in today uh, through the Facebook uh, live uh, link which is terrific and I appreciate you coming to this second uh, edition uh, of the online meetups uh, for the Fitbits so we're gonna cover a couple things today that are really cool about the Fitbits for those of you who got uh, new ones uh, we're gonna talk about uh, goal setting today on Fitbits um, we're also going to talk about um, how to manually log activities on Fitbits for those of you who don't know how to manually log activities. Uh, we're going to uh, talk about um, improving battery life uh, for a couple of you who have talked about uh, how do I do battery, uh, battery life on my Fitbit. And then also uh, I just want to mention something about silent alarms. Uh, so we're going to cover those three things uh, on Fitbits very quickly today. Uh, and then I do want to share, I have a, a special treat for you guys uh, around, um, I, I have a jacket that I used to wear. Uh, many of you know uh, I've had a great weight loss experience. I personally have lost, uh, oh, I'm looking actually a little bit chubby from this particular shirt, but I've lost uh, 150 pounds so far on my personal weight loss journey, and I invite everybody to come join me on a weight loss journey this year, especially if you got a brand new Fitbit at goingfitbitbybit.com. Uh, we've got some great programs out there. Merry Christmas right back at you, Mr. Michael uh, Gandara. Uh, all the best to you uh, as well, to Sue and all of your uh, great clan. Uh, so uh, my journey started June 30th of 2016. I went on a walk with Gina, and uh, she made me go. I couldn't ignore her any longer. Uh, it was horrible. I absolutely hated it. I walked behind her about six yards the entire time. Felt like a reverse Saudi Arabia going on. And uh, anyhow, the next day I went out and bought a Fitbit. Uh, I put all of my goals into that Fitbit right away. That is the very first thing. If you are a new Fitbit owner, please fire up that Fitbit, get it onto your smartphone, uh, your iPhone, your iPad, whatever your device is. Make sure that you have uh, linked it in, okay? And make sure that you set your goals. Now, these are not just step goals. These are not just weight goals. These are also calorie goals. These are uh, water goals. Um, these are sleep goals. Um, in other words, every single applet that is within the overall Fitbit uh, ecosystem is important. Uh, and I stress that because what will happen is um, as you go throughout your journey, you're going to find that there will be days, of course, there'll be days when, um, and just so everybody can see this here, let me get, let me get this straight here. Yeah, there'll be days here, right? Let me get this here at night. Okay, there'll be days here when your step goal won't be going so well. Fine. You're not going to hit all your goals every day all the time. So maybe you're not going to hit your step goal that day, but maybe you'll hit your, uh, your sleep goal. And you know what? Sleep is almost as important as getting your steps done, right? Because if you're getting enough sleep, uh, your body is able to rejuvenate itself and, and you're able to actually shed pounds a lot easier when you're getting enough sleep. Um, or, you know, maybe you're having enough activity minutes. Uh, which is also very important. This is the activity minutes uh, uh, icon here, right? Also, I love to focus in on my resting heart rate. Is my resting heart rate going down or not? 
uh, you know, that's a very, very key and critical uh, 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 metric uh, that we need to pay attention to in terms of how healthy we are or how healthy we are not um, as we're moving along. So all of these different apps that are within the Fitbit ecosystem are all critical to the fitness and health. So these are all important things that people need to focus on. It's not just steps. It's not just weight. Okay. Um, all of the apps are important. And I strongly recommend, strongly recommend that as you eat food throughout your day, you're logging your meals as you're eating your food throughout the day. The reason for this is the Fitbit is doing a wonderful, wonderful thing. As you're wearing your Fitbit 24 hours a day, seven days a week, okay, it is measuring your metabolic rate. People ask me all the time, well, Bill, how many calories do you eat every day? And I say, well, it depends on the day. Well, they mean, what, what do you mean it depends on the day? Well, there are days that I'll eat 4,000 calories. They go, you're on a diet and you eat 4,000 calories a day and you've lost 150 pounds? Get out of here. Well, hold on a second. First of all, I'm not on a diet. I'm not. I'm not on a diet. This is not a diet that I'm on and then I'm going to go off a diet and then so on and so forth. Okay. People say, well, what are you going to do when you take Fitbit off? What do you mean when I take Fitbit off? People wear a Rolex for the rest of their life. Why can't I wear my Fitbit for the rest of my life, right? This is not a diet. This is a way of life now. This is a way of life, right? I wear my Fitbit. I wear it 24-7. The Fitbit is providing me valuable information that for whatever reason, genetically, my body does not have a proper connection to my brain right, to give me the same kind of information about food and eating and consumption, right? But through the magic of technology, and we are very lucky to be alive today to have this kind of technology, right, through the magic of technology, the Fitbit is providing this information to us through these smartphones, right, so that now I do get this information back, right? So I'm wearing this Fitbit 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it's providing this information back to me, this metabolic rate, okay, we were just talking about how many calories I'm consuming a day. And maybe on that day that I'm consuming 4,000 calories, the reason I'm consuming 4,000 calories is because in that particular day, I walked 16 miles. Now, that's an extremely rare day. I mean, I'm, there might've been one day last year that I walked 16 miles, right? But I walked 16 miles that day, which meant I was extremely hungry that day, which meant I ate 4,000 calories that day, which by the way, Day, meant that I probably burned 5,000 calories that day, which, by the way, meant that I probably lost a pound or two that day, right? Here it is. I ate 4,000 calories. I burned 5,000 calories, and I lost a pound that day, right? Okay. Conversely, conversely, on another day, uh, maybe a snowy day in January last year, right? Woke up, it was snowing, uh, maybe uh, work uh, said, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, just work from home today. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, I didn't even leave the house. I didn't even bother shoveling the sidewalk. So maybe they were, maybe my neighbor shoveled the sidewalk. He just ran the snowblower up and down the street. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe nobody even took cars out that day. The kids stayed home from school. Everything was quiet. Uh, and here I am looking at my Fitbit all day long and, plugging in my food and here here all I'm plugged in for the day is is a giant cup of coffee with some with some half and half in it and by the way that's what I drink in my coffee it's either half and half or black um you know when it's not something else in my cup and uh you know all I've had is uh maybe my cup of coffee and then maybe around 10 30 a.m I had a banana and then maybe at noon I had a small can of tuna right and now I'm up to like 700 calories that I've eaten so far and it's 1 p.m. in the middle of the day, right? And I go and I look at my Fitbit and I go and look at my 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 uh, app that I put all my food in that day and, and is it telling me that I can eat more food? No. It's saying, oh, stop. Based on how many calories you're burning today, dude, you've had 700 calories. You're on track to burn maybe 1,300 calories today, dude. Don't eat anything more yet. Wait until dinner. Wow, what a big difference, right? What a huge big difference. Here, here on one extreme, I'm eating 4,000 calories a day because I'm burning 5,000. And here on another day, uh, the Fitbit's telling me, dude, 
you know, you might burn, you know, 1,800, 2,000 calories today. So for you to eat more than 1,200 today, you know, stop, stop, you know, don't, don't put anything else in your mouth. And so this is, the, I'm just providing you an example. This is why it's so critical to put in your food as you're eating it throughout the day. Okay. And it really is very simple. And if you go out to goingfitbitbybit.com and you do decide to, to join one of the programs, we have these online meetups, right, that you'll have with, with a regular group, right? And then you also get personal coaching, right? And, and we, we walk you through personal coaching. And it's, it's a way to keep you accountable as you're on a program. So let's say you were choosing like the 28 pounds, 28 days for $28, right? We'll, we'll keep you accountable, right, for those 28 days. And by the way, it's guaranteed your money back. Because we know if you do the program, like myself, you can go for 330 pounds all the way down to whatever your goal weight is. Uh, I'm going to lose even more weight, but currently I'm at 180 pounds. Yeah, I freaking love it. All right, but anyway, it's very important to put that information in as you go. As you go. Very, very key. Hope all of you guys got Fitbit for Christmas. If you didn't, you can go out and buy them right now. Um, okay. So very, very key, the entire ecosystem of all of the apps uh, within the Fitbit ecosystem and wear this thing 24-7. Now, if you're wearing it 24-7, when do you charge it? You know, I always try and charge my Fitbit when I am most down, which, by the way, is not sleeping. Sleeping is too critical. I always want to measure my sleep. So I always try and measure uh, my, my downtime. Uh, oh, hi, Christine. So good to see you. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to be reaching out to you later today. I can't wait to, can't wait to start working with Christine. She's my new, uh, my new uh, uh, personal per, uh, person that I'm coaching. I can't wait to, to talk with you. Uh, but anyway, uh, um, I, always, I always like to, to, to charge my um, Fitbit when, um, in, in my most down period, which is normally like a period in the afternoon. Um, and by the way, I only have to charge the Ionic about once every four or five days. It's normally a period like in the afternoon when I'm doing email, like from 2 to 4 p.m., right? It's a very quiet time. It's a, normally a time when my heart rate is resting the most. Um, so like my heart rate will go down to its lowest period during that period, you know, down to like 48 beats per minute. Um, that's when it gets lowest for me, around 48 beats per minute. Um, okay, so that's the whole ecosystem, right, of apps around the Fitbit. Now, just for fun today, before I talk to you about uh, how to maximize uh, your Fitbit, and we're gonna, I'm going to show you some uh, tips and tricks for that, I just wanted to show you something. I have one of the, one of the things that I, I do believe in is getting rid of all of your clothes as you're losing your weight. It's expensive, um, not because you're ever going to buy them back, because you're not. You're not. This is not a diet. This is a way of life. This is a way of life. There is no going back, okay? It's not because you're going to buy clothes back. It's because you're having to buy a wardrobe as you're losing weight, right? Um, but I did hold on to the tuxedo that I was married in, okay? Sentimental value. And I'm glad I did because right, oops, right, right over here, I have the jacket. And I just want to show you the difference because some of the different sizes that I went to, I was a 56 jacket and now I'm a 38 jacket. I was a 46 waist, and now I'm a 32 inch waist. So I just wanted to show you real quick here what that looks like in terms of the difference. Whoop, just sometimes my pants kind of ride up, especially on some of these smaller, smaller pants. Whoop, sometimes Gina gives me hassle there. Hey, right, your pants are too tight. Yeah, all right, sometimes it might seem a little too tight, especially on film. But all right, so here's, here's my pants, right? This is me now, right? Okay, I look a little different. Okay, here is my, uh, you know, I'll tilt this up just a little bit. Okay, here is my, uh, here's the jacket that I was married in. Okay, I'm now, uh, I'm now a uh, 38 jacket, and I'm uh, now a, a 32, 32 uh, inch waist. Okay, this is the 56 inch jacket that uh, that I was married in that I was wearing. By the way, this is what I wore last June 30th, June 30th of last year. This was the jacket. That I would wear this this could just barely button around me 18 months ago 18 months ago this barely buttoned around me barely look at that look at that I can fit two people in this now I, I, I can hardly believe this I can hardly I, wow I, I 
almost makes me cry. That's crazy. That's absolutely nuts. Holy cow. Wow. That's a big difference. Wow. That's a big difference. Well, listen, guys. I want to help you guys make a difference in your lives. I want to help children make a difference, too. You go out to going fit at bitbybit.com. We also have a program for children. We don't focus on weight loss for children. We focus on fitness for children because children are growing. And we don't want children to get hung up on weight loss. Children will lose weight if they're overweight. Uh, but we focus in on fitness for them. And you can find the details out there at goingfitbitbybit.com. Um, let me talk to you about one other thing, though, that I did want to mention here uh, before I get to the maximizing the Fitbit. Um, we do 15 more minutes. These meetups last uh, 15 minutes long. Um, one thing I do, and I'm going to show you this in just a minute here. Uh, I actually probably, well, I'll pull up the screen in a minute. But uh, one of the things I wanted to show you was uh, lots of pictures on here. Um, when you start a program, we want you partnering with your medical professionals, okay? Meaning people, and we had a long discussion here at breakfast at the McDade household around this. We had a long discussion around um, blood work, around having surgery, and many of you, I'm sure, are a little older. Uh, you know, we don't have a lot of 20-year-olds on, uh, on this live feed today. Uh, uh, on the Ring Central and on Facebook, and these will also now be on a YouTube channel as well. But uh, many, many of you know folks who are taking uh, heart medication and Coumadin, especially. And we were talking about Coumadin because, as many of you know, 2016 was a rough year at the McDade household. My father, the Irishman, died on St. Patrick's Day in 2016 when we got back from burying him. My wife told me that she had lumps in her breasts exactly where she had cancer the first time, and they turned out to be triple negative breast cancer again for the second time. And while she was fighting that cancer, her father started to have strokes, uh, which he'd really never had before. And then Michele, her father, the Italian, died on Columbus Day in 2016. So 2016 sucked. Uh, but it was uh, the year I decided to start my journey. But I bring that up to you because um, – I bring it up because you need to, uh, and we strongly encourage you, if you have not been, to go and get your physical done, and especially get it done, because I want you to focus in on your blood work. Um, and I say that because uh, one of the things that we were able to do here uh, around blood work, obviously, weight, especially when you were incredibly obese the way I was at 330 pounds. Um, by the way, I'm still overweight at 180, so which is why I'm still losing weight. Um, but at 330 pounds, um, being so obese, I was on uh, cholesterol medication. Notice I say was. Um, and I was headed for type 2 diabetes, like my father and like my father-in-law. And by the way, they both died of conditions that uh, contri were contributed to by type 2 diabetes. Um, and I had pre-diabetes. Pre so, you know, my doctor said, oh, yeah, it's just a matter of, you know, he's, he said, uh, yeah, we're not going to prescribe uh, insulin and medication for you this time around, but probably next year when you come in or the year after, you, you know, you'll, you'll have diabetes. Uh, so that's what you're headed for. Um, you know, so talk about a wake-up call. But um, now I went back in to see my doctor, uh, Dr. Kimberly Hewitt at Valley Diagnostic Medical Center here in uh, Ramsey. And uh, first of all, uh, my blood work for glucose levels and A1C levels, those are the two tests, of course, blood work-wise for diabetes, um, are perfect. There's no pre-diabetes at all. Um, and that's not just one blood test. Uh, because, of course, it's over 18 months I've lost this weight. That's two. Perfect numbers. So no pre-diabetes at all. Thank you. Secondly, um, my cholesterol numbers were not just better. My cholesterol numbers were so good that combined cholesterol and the good and the bad cholesterol, uh, first of all, Dr. Hewitt, didn't think she'd ever had a patient who ever had cholesterol numbers that registered that well. Uh, that's any of her marathon patients, any of her D1 athletes, um, anybody ever. 
Um, and then she immediately took me off. This was the second test round. Immediately took me off my cholesterol medication. She said, and she said, by the way, I have never put a patient on a statin and, and on a cholesterol medication and had them on it for years. And I had been on a statin for at least four, five, six years and then taken them off a statin. She said, I, I, I've just never done that. It's just never happened. Um, I've never had anybody make a change in lifestyle after being on a cholesterol medication for several years and then make such a change that their cholesterol changed so significantly that then I could remove them completely from a cholesterol medication. So um, that's what changing what I put in the pie hole and then what was on the body frame did to the blood work. Uh, one other thing, uh, <clears throat> and if you're squeamish out there, this is a warning, so take a deep breath. One other thing that I find a little, whatever, I had a little tiny bit of toe fungus. Toe fungus. Ugh. Anyway, believe it or not, that cleared up. I had that for a decade. And the only way I was ever told I was going to be able to get rid of it was by taking these horrible uh, antifungal drugs that were very hard on your liver. And they always said, hey, Billy, you're a drinker. You can't take those unless you quit drinking. Well, screw that. Pardon my language. But uh, the toe fungus, gone. So, And I asked my doctor about that. I said, why would my toe fungus clear up just by losing weight? And she said, oh, very, very, very clear. Uh, that all has to do with circulation. So circulation. She said, well, yeah. So think about it. You know, the prediabetes, that's cooking your all of the cells in your body. There's too much sugar that's impacting your circulation. And, you know, is, but, you know basically the whole inside of your body is, is, is being punished and is, is being hurt. So now you're much healthier. I said, but doctor, I'm not even working out. And I wasn't then. I didn't work out this entire year and a half period. Um, I'm not even working out. Said, Nothing to do with working out. It has to do with the fact that you've, you've, you've eliminated all of this fat and obesity from your body. You've eliminated all of the swelling from your system and from your body. Your body is no longer under all of this stress that you had put it under 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You, you eliminated all that. So now your body is healing things that you were damaging for years and years and years. I said, wow, that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. I had no idea the damage I was doing. So anyhow, when you go out to goingfitbitbybit.com, we want you to get your blood work done right away before you go on this program because we want you to see what a big difference you're going to make in your life as soon as you get down to whatever you need to get down to, okay? And that's what we want you to do. By the way, the company I started, going fit, bit by bit .com, it's not just a regular C Corp. It's a public benefit corporation. Why is it a public benefit corporation? Because I wanted to give back. And so by law, that's what the company has to do. Its sole mission is to eliminate obesity. That's what the company is all about. I have about seven more minutes here. I want to specifically tell you, I hope a whole bunch of you got Fitbits for Christmas. And if you didn't get Fitbits for Christmas, well, there's tons of sales now. So go out and get a Fitbit now, all right? A couple of things here I want to, I want to talk to you about, okay? First of all, um, with your Fitbit, every once in a while, you will do an activity that doesn't really get logged very well on a Fitbit. So what activity might that be? Well, you might hop on an exercise bike at your gym, okay? So um, if you hop on a bike down at the beach, Fitbit will pick that up pretty well and be like, oh, you're bicycling. <sighs> okay, no problem, it picks up your, and that's a pretty cool thing about Fitbit. Fitbit literally detects that you are working out and it's, starts up its uh, uh, measuring your workout. It's very, very cool. But some things it has a hard time with, like if you hop on an exercise bike, it recognizes that your heart rate went up, um, but it doesn't recognize steps because you're not really moving anywhere, right? And uh, it doesn't understand what's going on. So, um, so 
when something like that occurs, when you're on a stair stepper, when you're on an exercise bike, right? What you can do is you can go, and I've got notes here, that's why I'm looking over here. What you can do is you can go, you can log right into your Fitbit dashboard. So not only is everything here, right here on your phone, yeah, there's my lovely Gina. Not, a, not only is everything right here on your phone, but also you have a dashboard at Fitbit.com, okay? And it, and it looks just like what's on your phone. And you go out to your Fitbit dashboard, and at the top, there's log activities, right? And you go over to log activities, and you go create custom activity, okay? So it's log activities, create custom activity, and then all you have to do is you enter in the duration of the activity, you say, Oh, okay, I you know I rode the fitness bike for 20 minutes, right? Um, and then you say the distance, if there was a distance, you know, oh yeah, this was a you know a, a, a seven mile uh, bike ride, okay? So you put the seven miles in, and you might have a start time and an end time and that kind of thing, and you log it. And then once you do that, that's going to be a part of uh, your Fitbit activity for the day. That will feed into the metabolic uh, uh, measurement, and if you'll recall. Uh, we mentioned that at the beginning of this meetup, right? Um, and that, that feeds into then all the calories that you burn for the day. And then that's important because you're putting in all of the different foods that you've been eating, right? Um, and so that's giving you a real rate in information. Um, oh, and I didn't mention this at the beginning. Not only buy your Fitbit, buy the ARIA scale. I know, it sounds like I bought Fitbit stock or something, which I don't own, or I'm working for Fitbit, which I'm not working for Fitbit. I'm not working uh, for them, but I will tell you this. Uh, I have been in touch with the director of marketing for Fitbit. Director of marketing, very lovely woman, um, Emily, uh, I'm sure I'll mangle her last name because I've never heard her say directly, uh, or stock the wits, uh, something like that. Anyway, very lovely person. Um, Anyhow, uh, and they, they uh, understand what I'm doing and uh, absolutely approve of it. Um, they're providing me, uh, oh, everybody who is joined today is going to be eligible for the free Fitbit giveaway. I'll be giving away uh, a Fitbit um, every week um, to the people who come to the online meetups. So all of you people are, are uh, I just go out to goingfitbitbybit.com and register. Very easy to register at my website. I just want to be make sure I have people's information. And then everybody who registers out there is eligible for the weekly Fitbit giveaway. Okay, so please go and do that. Uh, but not only get the Fitbit, but get the ARIA scale. Why get the ARIA scale? When you weigh yourself, I personally like to weigh myself every day. When you weigh yourself, boom, the weight, the body fat percentage, uh, and a lean versus fat percentage automatically all travels over your local Wi-Fi directly into your Fitbit ecosystem, okay? It all goes straight into your Fitbit ecosystem daily, okay? Um, so again, your Aria works with your Fitbit, works with the apps, works with the dashboard all together, right? 24-7. Okay, um, it all contributes to the success of your program as you do this. Okay, so when you go out to going fit uh, bit by bit .com, you sign up for your program, whether you want to lose seven pounds, seven days, seven bucks, or you want to lose 28 pounds, 28 days, 20 bucks, or there might be a few of you out there who have a very, very serious problem. If you're in that 100 plus pound club, uh, feel free to email me. Uh, you can email me, bill at goingfitbitbybit.com, and we can have a conversation. But uh, listen, I'm there for you. Uh, I'm taking on clients now. I'm going to take on clients until I hit that, that special number where I, you know, have where I'm full, right? Because I will not take on so many that I cannot pay attention to the people that uh, I need to love and take care of um, through this, right? Um, we are going to eliminate obesity as best we can. Um, we are going to do it uh, through this company and through this effort. And you guys are the first ones out there helping me do this, and I appreciate it. Um, so anyway, log activities um, and get that RA scale. Um, improving the battery life. The number one thing you can do, whether you have an Alta or an Alta HR, whether you have a Blaze, whether you have an Ionic, whether you have a charge or a surge or a flex or a flex two or whether you have the flyer or the one or the zip all day sync if you're having a trouble with your battery life and by the way i love my ionic 
four or five days before I have to charge this puppy. That's got to be, I think that's one of the best smartwatch, uh, that's got to be one of the best smartwatch uh, batteries in the industry. Uh, my buddies with, I don't have an Apple Watch, but my buddies with Apple Watches, they kind of complain quite a bit about uh, charges. Uh, if some of you have Apple Watches and you, you also don't have to charge for four or five days, then just let me know. I mean, you can always chime in here and tell me, but uh, four, four or five days I, I go before I have to charge uh, my Ionic. I, I love it. I love the Ionic. It's the latest smartwatch from Fitbit. Uh, I used to have the Surge, which I loved a lot. It had a GPS in it. I had to charge that about every three to four days. So that's how often I did that one. Uh, but there's an all-day sync function. Again, you go out to the Fitbit dashboard. You go to the account uh, icon. Okay, you go to the device. Uh, every device that's on your account, an Aria, uh, a charge, maybe you have another uh, 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 flyer or a zip, uh, associated with your account or an Alta, right? Every one, every little device has its own um, its own little icon, right? You go out to the icon and then you turn off an all day sync. You don't need to sync all day. When when you sync is when you actually go into the app, you swipe down, syncs up for you. That sync, by the way, takes less than ten seconds typically. Poosh, you see all of your new steps in there. You see your heart rate pumping away. Uh, you see all of your uh, metabolic information. Uh, it's great. Anyway, that's a great way to save your battery. Um, and then last but not least, for those of you with significant others, you can set a silent alarm with your Fitbit, and your partner will certainly uh, love you for that. Um, so uh, go ahead in and uh, 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 set your silent alarm. It's a little bit different for each Fitbit. Um, I will... Uh, let you uh, go out and Google that, but uh, it's right there on the watch. Uh, you go right into your settings and alarm, and you can set a silent alarm, um, and your Fitbit will wake you up in the morning if that's what you choose to do. Um, I'm actually pretty good. I pretty much wake up on my own uh, every morning, but Fitbit has a silent alarm. Um, helps people wake right up in the morning. So, as always, it was another wonderful half hour. I really appreciate all of you coming to join. Um, I hope you got something out of it. Uh, please drop me a line and let me know if, uh, if you learned something. Please uh, drop me a line and let me know if there's a topic that you would be interested in hearing about, uh, either something uh, about me, something that you would like to learn, uh, something that you're curious about. Uh, again, uh, the Public Benefit Corporation, going fit, bitbybit.com, uh, we are here to eliminate obesity. We are going to do everything we can, uh, partnering with people who have Fitbits uh, to maximize their use. Uh, get out there. Get on one of our programs. Right now, we're running this special 28 days, uh, uh, 28 pounds, 28 days, 28 bucks. It gives you the online meetups. You get personal coaching. Um, we have meal plans for you, the whole bit. Um, we'll do anything we can to help you out. So, um, listen, we've got problems out there, we got challenges, and we got solutions. So, let us help you out, okay? Have a wonderful, merry, happy Christmas, and I uh, hope Santa was great to all of you guys. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Love you all. Bye-bye.